One of my favorite hobbies is scouring the internet for really interesting files that I can run off in 3D print and share with you all. And today, I think I found one of the most wicked looking set of files that I've ever run off and printed. And I'm really excited to share with you how I went about doing this with some new high speed resin. So this is actually the first time that I've ever tried printing anything like these. And you might be looking at them going, what the heck are we looking at here? That looks kind of like a monster or a werewolf potentially. What you're looking at are resin 3D printed book nooks. And if you're not familiar with what a book nook is, it's something that I think has relatively gained popularity here over the past handful of years, where if you have a series of books and you wanted to display them along with some other kind of intricate piece of artwork, this is going to help display some of those crazy things that you might be buying and purchasing and want to have on display along with some cool character or in this case some creepy characters. And these are all files that you can find under my mini factory and in fact there is a whole I think 18 different book nook files that you can purchase and download individually or you can buy a whole set of them and save a good amount of money on there. And that's what I ended up buying was the whole set of these files. That gives me a lot of variety and options when it comes to printing some of these creepy little guys. The other awesome thing about each of the files is that there's two sets of them. There's one for resin as well as FDM 3D printers, which I'm also running off and printing some really large variations of a few of these book nooks. And as I mentioned, I have some new resin that Elugu sent me to test out and it's their new rapid resin that's specifically designed to allow you to print your files a whole lot faster. And what makes this so special is that it has a really low viscosity. It's almost water-like when you're shaking it compared to the much thicker, like almost like syrup sounding with your standard resin. And just as another visual example, here's your standard resin and how it sort of pours out. It's a good bit thicker. And then here's the rapid resin, which just, it's like water. And before we can just run off and start printing with this new rapid resin, we're gonna wanna dial in some of our exposure settings and lift settings and those sort of things before running off and printing with it. Again, this should allow us to print faster, so I'm expecting it to have a lower exposure setting than I typically print with. So I'm starting with the baseline resin exposure settings that I use for both of my Saturn printers here. And what I'm gonna do is just lower this down automatically to 1.8 seconds for the exposure. Now, after quick print, both of these exposure tests look pretty good. I still think they're slightly overexposed because they're overlapping a bit here in the center along with some of the bars. However, almost all of the details printed properly and I think this might be a really good starting point for us for this resin at 1.8 seconds. Now, one thing I additionally like to do before running off and starting some really large prints is do one additional exposure test and that is by using the cones of calibration. And what this is gonna do is on one side, you have a fail where it should, all of the cones should not be connected. And on the other side is success, letting you know if all of the cones are connected. This is just a good, again, example indicator of the settings that you're working with. None of these are gonna be exactly perfect, so it helps if you run a few different variations of these tests. But on the Saturn III Ultra, the cones were still slightly connected on each side, which again, is letting me know I could probably probably go a little bit lower with the exposure settings here on the Saturn III Ultra, which is incredible to see, just knowing that I can print even faster than what I'm about to do right now. And while our first set of prints are getting up and running, I wanted to say a big thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. I'm using their new Elegoo Saturn III and the Saturn III Ultra for these massive book nooks. And I'm also printing off some of these much larger at 175% scale on the Neptune 3 Plus and the Neptune 3 Max. But I'm loving all of the crispy details that we can get off of these mid-size 12K resolution resin 3D printers. And if you're interested in more information about any of Elegoo's products, you'll find links to those down below. And before I show you these amazing prints, I do wanna give you a few tips that I have if you decide to run off and print these for yourself. If you're gonna print them in resin, be aware that you're gonna need a good mid-size resin 3D printer if you wanna print most of these at the full height or the original file height for these particular files. Another option that I went ahead and did as well just to help reduce some of the resin usage that I was gonna be using with this is I ended up bringing the files into Prusa Slicer and slicing off the very back 
of the box. And just be aware if you're printing them in resin like I did, be aware that you are gonna spend a good amount of time removing all of those supports because there are a lot needed for these particular prints. And some of the files come with parts that are pre-separated that allows you to print those individually. So I went off and printed some of those on the Elegoo Mars 4 Ultra. And then here's a little trick that you can use. You can either use a little resin as well. So I dipped my print right back into the vat, stuck it back on the print, and then use a UV pen to cure those or you can just use some super glue directly onto the print and before you cure it, it's still a little bit wet and tacky and that almost immediately cures. Now let's take a look at some of these awesome book nooks. The first one that I went off and printed is this zombie edition. This took six hours and 15 minutes to print here on the Elgoo Saturn III Ultra. The details look so good on it. It's ultra creepy and I'm absolutely loving how it's just popping out. I mean, all of them are very visually stunning and striking, definitely something unique that I've never seen before. I then went off and printed the Goblin Book Nook, which just might be my favorite out of all of them because of how vivid this is. I mean, it's just literally popping right out of the book nook. This is perfect for anybody that's into uh, playing with miniatures or printing miniatures, or maybe you have campaign books that you wanna have something to help display those on your shelf. This would be a fantastic addition to it. This is again, all one of the parts here that I ended up printing in multiple pieces and then welding together with some resin and super glue. But I just can't get over how amazing all of the details look on all of these. Now for the next set of prints, I ended up doing a dual print off here between the Saturn III Ultra and the regular Saturn III, both using the rapid resin here. And the first one was actually the Imp Book Nook that I scaled up by about 115 to 120% scale and it took seven hours and 30 minutes to print. And I think it was something like just over 5,000 layers. And on the standard Saturn III, I ended up printing this Werewolf Book Nook and it took almost exactly eight hours for this to print and had something like 4,500 layers so it was actually about 500 or so less layers than the Imps version. However, the Imps was able to even print faster because it's the ultra version of the printer, along with this rapid resin, you can get some really fast printing going on here. But both of these, again, just look incredible. Now here's one issue that I didn't really consider when printing these off in resin while they look stunning with all of their detail. One challenge is that they are very much front heavy and don't wanna sit flat on my tabletop. So I'm gonna to need to find a way to weight down the back before I can actually put these on display. So again, just something that you need to consider when running off and printing these. Not the biggest issue in the world, especially when you have books, uh, some heavy books seated on either side, it should more or less hold these in place. And finally, we have our FDM prints that finished printing. This is the Cthulhu Cultist book nook that was printed on the Neptune 3 Plus with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. And I think at a 0.28 layer height, and this looks super clean and I'm loving this cookie CAD PLA that I'll have linked to down below. It's easily one of my favorite filaments that's out there. This color has like a color shift shimmer to it. It's just a great little vibrant purple that you can run off and print with, a perfect combination for this particular file. And lastly, we have this beast of a print that we got off the Neptune 3 Max. I think this was almost a two day long print. It took about one and a half rolls of filament that it used up. It's not entirely perfect. It's at a 0.2 layer height with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. There was some really funkiness going on with some of the supports there inside of the mouth, but everything looks properly there. So it looks good. I don't even think I needed supports on the inside, but I ended up having some holes on the back of the hands that I'm gonna have to go back and patch. But outside of that, in a small hole in the forehead here, I think this looks incredible and will end up being a great wall art piece for here in the studio. Also, as you can see with the filament based ones that are a lot less front heavy with how much they weigh, they have no problem standing upright if you wanted to run off and print some massive ones like I did here. And here's a better look at all of the book nooks that I went off and printed along with some books here on display. These are such fun items to run off in 3D print. I can't recommend these enough. They're so unique and really cool. And as a little bonus, you can even throw some LED lights behind them to add some additional effects to your book nooks. I also want to say a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here. And if you're interested in things like my resin 3D printer settings, you can find those over in my Patreon. I also wanted to mention that new rapid resin by Elegoo that I used in this video 
I don't exactly have a price point or an ETA on when that's being released. I believe that's coming very soon since they sent it to me to actually show off here. So I'm hoping in the next week or so, we'll be able to start seeing that over on their website or better yet over on Amazon. And let me know what you think about these book nook prints. And if you're interested in printing them for yourself, I'll have links to them down below. I just want to say thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.